Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to play some Rams Jungle. First things first, you get down a ward, then you're gonna want to back. These are the runes you're gonna want to take. Basically, Aftershock with Precision Secondary Tree is what you're gonna take every single time. The attack speed works really well with your passive on hit damage. It's very nice. It speeds up your clear speeds. You can go for tenacity, but it's kind of the whole point of unflinching. Plus, we can always opt into Merc Treads if we really want to. There's three main ways to play Ramus. I'm going to be showing you guys the neutral way this game. One of the ways is super cheesy. It's kind of like a Moby's Rush, but very risky. So we're just going to be playing it neutral, and you want to start on your red buff. Your red side jungle is much easier for you to clear than blue side, and you don't want to do a full clear. You want a three camp clear your red side into gank. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll probably be ganking for the Camille. Start your W, start red buff, then we'll do wrap, golem, into gank. If it was easier to gank mid, which it's not, it's cast, we would do uh, obviously red, golem, wraps, into gank. But, but yeah, let's be honest. How are we going to gank a cast? <laughs> it just doesn't work. So Ramus is a little uh, early gold reliant. In the sense of he can't power clear as well as a normal jungler because he'll get low on health. And one of the ways to play ramps is starting three health pot, but that way feels risky as well. I recommend the talisman refill potion and the three camp red side clear like we're doing here in the gank. So I'll have to show you guys some of the other the two other ways of playing Ramus in other videos, but this this one is the safest and the easiest version in my opinion. So you're gonna save your smite for these bad boys right here, and then we're gonna go into a top lane gank. And these bad boys have been trading it out like people do in ranked. Oh boy, what do you know? There's already a kill. <laughs> so that's kind of kind of mess up our gank a little bit. Uh, TP back, I gank. I, I wanted to TP back. This is free. So now that you're level 3, you can just leave these little guys. You don't need them that bad. So he's way out of position. So we're just going to bop him with a Q. And... Uh, she can just, I mean, I'm not going to push it. I'm just going to freeze it a little bit. I was actually trying to save that wave. It, to, there's too many minions. It's going to dump into her turret. So I'm just going to drop the new all. It's a very powerful tool. And she TP back. Nice. So I can just play around top side. I'm going to ignore my blue side jungle here for a little bit. Ganking mid's bad because Cass is a bad early game champ. I'm going to flash on this guy. I'll attack EW and he's dead. It's a power of a Ramus gank, guys. So after your Q lands, it's a big freaking knockup. And while they're knocked up, you can usually pinch off an auto before you press your E. And uh, by doing that, you can extend your damage substantially. We're going to taunt this guy. Yeah, we're just trying to shove this wave in. By shoving that wave in, it's going to let our cast back and TP back. It's a good reset we got the big tp and we're gonna go top lane again so yeah in a normal gank you can run into him with q auto attack ew and beat the crap out of them just like you saw there you can also flash into them i didn't want him to get too close to the wall so he couldn't flash over i'm gonna keep right into this guy ba boop e w and uh yeah he's dead it's that easy okay we're we got a lot of health so we can stay we can stay and do scuttle. If there wasn't so many ganks, we would just be farming, but there's so many ganks on the map. You want to taunt and then uh, smite it. You do more damage if you smite it while it's taunted. You, the scuttles take like 20 or 30% more damage from everything. They're the only monster camp that behaves that way. All right, so we're going to play around this. We're going to Q speed up. Now that we have some built up speed, we're going to come roaring out at this guy. We're not happy with him. We're going to run him down. Taunt W. All right, he's dead. We just have to run it down. Oh, he's in trouble. He's been a naughty boy. Oh, we almost smited the, the scuttle in time. Shit. We didn't smite it fast enough. I don't know if Cass can win this. I don't think he can. He took the lantern. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, they got the kill. That's huge. So the first item you want to get is really the cinder. And then you want red smite. Don't fall into the blue smite trap. It's pretty bad. Especially if there's an enemy jungler who's really fighty early, like Wukong. So first item, bombies. You'll normally back right when you can afford that. In this game, since we have really easy ganks top, people were shoving up. We didn't have to back, or because we didn't have to farm, really. You get low after farming, and then you back for bombies. But in this game, it was just a lot of ganking. And we can just walk up. We should have auto Q then uh, EW there. We didn't use our Q, though. And the whole point of your W... 
is it extends the duration of your taunt attack speed so make sure you w like no later than one auto attack that way you see your little attack speed here your w basically makes your ease attack speed last your full w duration which is huge and you can queue from camp to camp queuing from camp to camp gets you around your jungle really fast and since ramps doesn't have the best clear speeds in the world early on it makes you uh competitive now we're gonna move on to the next camp and we can queue from all the way back here and you want to try to hit as much of it as possible so right in the middle so we hit everything except for that one little raptor who's off in the corner victor has it shoved up camille's a really easy gank since she has cc and i have cc i'm gonna go ahead and get my level six here push right into my golems queue straight into it just focus on the easy slains to gank the easy slains to gank will usually be really strong early game champs that typically have cc so if you have an Annie mid, or if you have a Camille top, or Renekton top, anything that has a stun in their first, like a level 1, level 2 is a really good gank for Ramus. Since you have CC and a decent damage, you'll just kill them almost every time. And once you do have your Balmy Cinder, uh, your clear speed's actually pretty decent. So Camille has her ult here. I have them on my sweeper. You can even have it on while you're in queue. Uh, I don't know. I felt lazy. But this isn't warded anyways. Mm, I feel like she, we could have had that if she just went in, used her ult. There we go. We're going to bump into this guy. Auto attack E, W. I don't want to R here. I don't think I need to. We're, we're so far ahead, and the dude's so far out of position that I don't need to press R. My red buff's up, but this look how far he's up. If you're full health, if you know you're not going to die, and you have a gank where you're 90% sure it's a kill for you, and you just take it. You don't have to go do your, your camp at this point. I'm very confident. You also, you, you guys, okay, we got our R down, which is a big slow and lots of damage. You see how he's moving super slow? Your R is how you stay on top of them because when you're in your W form, which gives you a bunch of armor and magic resist, and uh, it also makes the enemies take damage when they hit you, it makes your spike shell, it makes your passive do more damage. Your ultimate slows them down. So when you run into them with your Q, you auto attack EWR. You can pretty much stay on top of them and auto them even when you're in your slow form like this. So it's really, really big for ganks, just like you saw. And you, the reason why you want to max Q is it gives you a lot of burst damage. And it also makes your ganks really fast because it also buffs the movement speed. You may be tempted to max taunt first, but that's actually really risky because it'll slow down your AoE clears a little bit. And it will also make it hard to make contact. If you make contact, your QCC and your ECC is enough. You don't really have to max your E first. Now, you can max your E second, though. You normally do max it second. All right, these guys are shoved up. They're, they are level 6, though, which makes me a little nervous. And I don't know where Wukong is. So, I think I'll just go mid. Oh, what is this guy doing? We'll just smite it. We'll run away. All right, we'll just go back and buy our items. We have a lot of gold. Our red side jungle is up. And uh, Cinder Hulk's a massive power spike. If you can afford it, especially since I'm missing a big chunk of HP, if Wukong were to show up, I could actually die here and give away, I guess to just give away my map pressure. So they have a bunch of AD on their team. I'm actually going to go for the Tabbies. There's no shame in going Merc Treads on Ramus. I wouldn't actually recommend Swifties or Mobies. They're super cheesy and they can set you really far behind. I like the tabbies because it even helps you against monster camps. You take less damage because of the armor and uh, the on hit basic attack damage as well is really nice. The 12% redu reduction keeps you full HP. There's Wukong. He's bot lane. We almost have as much CS as him, which is pretty good. We're going to be farming up here a little bit. We're a pretty good counter to Wukong jungle. It's not like we on Rams. You can't really solo anybody early, like really nobody unless you're full HP. And even then, it's hard because their damage is low. On Ramus, it's mainly about your level 3 ganks and then your level 6 ganks. And Ramus scales up pretty well. He's not the best tank jungler. That would be Zac. But Ramus is really good still if uh, if you know you can get away with him early game. If you're playing against something like Graves, you have to lay your wards defensively and make sure he's not invading you. And if he is, you normally just push into their jungle. Since, like I said, Ramus can't 1v1 like anyone early on. So you're, you're pretty much... If, like if they get in your jungle and you don't know it, it can set you really far behind early on Ramus. My Q is I'll just gank this guy once it's up again. It's fine. I'll come deep ward a pink in his jungle. 
give my team some good info. I can even flash over the wall here if I really want to. Like, just go in my Q form, flash wall, and knock him up. I must have ran over Ward. The dude's acting super scared. I don't know why Cast cleared that. He should have just froze it. It would have made it easy to gank. Looks like he probably backed. Got the Raptor camp. You're pretty much full health. Once you have Cinderholt, you'll you'll stay full health in the jungle pretty much all the time. Nothing gets you. None of the camps get you low at this point. Gonna queue in behind these guys. Thresh is making it so obvious though. All right, we got him. That's nice. You see how we tank the turret? The tabbies gives us armor, and our W gives us a bunch of armor. So we took three or four turret shots there. Didn't even do half our health. Just flash into him, taunt him, kill him. Yeah, it's that simple, guys. It looks like Victor's bot side. We'll go ahead and get the fruit. Rambus can go for AP or AD. Obviously, AD is a little better on him because of his kit. The way his W and his passive synergize with the armor to give you more damage. But if they're full AP, then just stack magic resist. It's, it's a better option. But they are heavy AD, so we'll get an early Bramble Vest. They got the Wukong, Felios, Renekton, all AD. So getting an early Bramble Vest here is actually really big. Like, if these... They both have Conqueror, which heals them, and so does their AD carry. So they all have a healing keystone when they hit, hit me. So the Bramble Vest will make them take damage and also cut their healing in half, which is really, really big. Now, if they were, like, full AP, I would probably go for either an Adaptive Helm or an Abyssal Mask. But they're mostly AD. All they have is Yumi and Victor for AP. I don't know if this area is warded, but we could even dive Renekton. Rammus, once, once you have your Cinderholt, he's really good for dives. Especially armor as well makes dives easier because you take less damage from turrets. So right now is a really easy opportunity. Let's run into him. Another thing that's making me really tanky is uh, the Aftershock. Whenever you CC somebody, so whether it's your Q or your E, you get a massive burst of armor and magic resist. So the turret didn't really do much to us there. Ramus scales really well, but like I said, guys, I do highly recommend starting red side, getting three camps into gank. That's your, usually your best move, the safest play style in Ramus. I'll have to show you the other two early play styles in another vid. Okay, we got his flash, which is huge. We had 100% killed him there if he didn't flash. My bot lane looks like they just got soloed. I don't even think they got ganked. Uh, they're all they're full HP, so I can't really kill them. So I'm just going to defend turret. Maybe taunt him under turret if he stands that far up. He's an idiot for that. I have him, my ult on him under the turret. I also have Bramble Vest. He can't heal on me. Wow, that actually fucked me up. What the fuck? Why did he do that? I'm going to taunt him. I've been red smited. I got the Varus heal and the Thresh shield. That was really good. And we're going to get his Herald. I got to the bush, so it would make it harder for him to hit me. And I could play around my cooldowns easier. Now that Wukong's dead, I can just farm up even though I'm low on health. I can't. I'm not worried about him killing me or anything. Don't really take damage in your jungle at this point with this much armor. Wow, nice cast. Helping himself there. I didn't even know he was coming. Gromp does do AP damage, so it kind of hurts still. It's the only monster in your jungle that does magic damage to you. So you're just getting keep from camp to camp, especially once your Q's max. It's a really great tool for getting around the map. It's a relatively low cooldown, all things considered. Just get a feel of how far you can push your Q. You can get from camp to camp super fast. And uh, we actually do want to get Dragon here. Since my uh, golems are up, my red buff's about to go get come up here. I'm just going to go ahead and finish out this clear route and then try to get my Thornmail. After Thornmail, when you look at their damage, Victor has the double laser damage, repeat damage, and he has the ult repeat damage. So I think we'll actually go for Adaptive Helm after Thornmail. And then we could go into like Dead Man's Plate or something. Yeah, Rambus has a lot of item options. An item build that I really like is if they're full AP. Because it lets you get an Abyssal Mask, which makes you do a lot more damage. Because Ramus passive is magic damage. His ulti is magic damage and his Q is magic damage. Like, most of his kit is magic damage. So Abyssal Mask is actually really strong if the enemy team's AP stacked. I don't think we're going to get that guy. I'm just going to reset here. 
no point in me staying. I'll just come from the dragon. I'll get the warden's mail, get full HP, get my refills back up. That was a really awkward time for the enemies to fight. They might actually win it though. Felios is a really strong champ. Varus has Bork, but Felios would. I don't even know how he got double buffs. I guess he killed one of my teammates who had doubles. We're just going to Q into him. Auto attack, taunt, W, ult. Oh, he's all the way over here. What the fuck? Team played that so weird. Auto attack, E, R, red smite. Have my W on. I'm gonna run this Yumi down, try to pilfer the Thresh. Mm. I tried to taunt the Yumi there, but she got to him before I could press it. I think we're actually gonna live. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> that could have gone a lot better for us, but at least we lived. Victor's way out of position. Yumi's such a strong champion, honestly. For how much value she gives, she's super easy to play. He might actually get her there unless she has ult. He's just going to kite her out. Those Yumi heals are coming down fat. So yeah, you pretty much... You just get your taunt down on the enemies. You press W, R, red smite them. Ram's combo is very simple. There's nothing fancy about it. You, it's pretty much just pressing all your buttons on them at once. Something you keep in mind is... You want to make sure you hit them with your Q because it does a lot of damage. And if you W while you're in mid Q, you'll cancel your Q. So just that's the only thing I would say about that. Yeah, but normally in fight, you want to E, W, R, Red Smite. And your R does have some range. So if you can't quite reach them and like your Q ends, but you're close, you can press R. Kind of like run them down if they're inside your R circle because it slows them a lot. So that is an option. And we're actually healing up a lot off these camps. Baleos is really far up. He's dead. Wukong is being Wukong. I'm gonna get him under the turret. I'm gonna red smite him. He's dead. Like you see, we just tanked the turret like it was nothing. Took four or five shots and Wukong was hitting us. That's the beautiful thing about Ramus is what the more and more items you get, especially armor and health, you can tank turrets better and better. And you have reasonable damage as well. So you just kind of Gotta figure out how far you can push this champ. Now I am gonna get an Abyssal Mask here. It's still gonna give me really nice damage against any of them because it makes your nearby enemy champs take 15% more magic damage. So my passive ulti Q and my thorn melt damage is all gonna do 15% more if they're within the circle. And uh, it's gonna be giving me some really nice MR as well because their victor is actually starting to carry them. So we're just gonna need some of that. gonna red smite him the dude's like actually so tanky i can't do anything do you see those yumi heals and shields dude she's literally healing and shielding him more than i can damage it's insane it's actually nutty bro and that's with victor hitting me and getting the healing cut in half as well such a strong champ i'm gonna have to get that mr it's funny because victor doesn't even have that many items his items are very thin just gotta make sure we stay alive and we scale up off our camps and find any free picks. Like this, the failures is starting to push up. Once you have Thornmail, you can start to solo AD carry super easily, even without your ulti. Just run into him and the Thornmail does all the work. Thornmail W passive, really. So let's see where this guy's at. Yumi's not really on him. I'm gonna red smite him for the bonus damage. EW. Yumi just ulted me. Nice. Very cool. All right, they're actually out of position. I can collapse on this. Cash should get him here. Do you see that hill? That's just so gross. That hill's just so big, man. I'm gonna take this. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, Wukong's dead here. There's three of them dead plus Wukong, so I'm gonna take some of his camps. I got his Raptors. I'm gonna get these. Should be able to heal up off them a little bit. They don't do much damage to me. Uh, big golems dead. I'll probably heal here. Now I'll go for his red buff before he gets here. Clear it out real fast. Q E W. Wukong couldn't kill me even if he came here right now. He doesn't have any armor pen yet. Without armor pen, I could just wipe him. Oh, just ping them off. It's not worth it. I'm too low on health. If I was full health, maybe, but I'll get that scuttle crab. This is a bad fight. 
It's a bad fight. I'm just trying to get them off. I'm just trying to scare them away, but <laughs> we keep re-engaging. That was so bad. It was not worth it. We were low on health, and uh, they were all formed up there, so I'm not just going to kill myself because that's what the team was doing. <laughs> It's fine, not a big deal. Everyone makes mistakes. We are pretty fed. The, our, my biggest concern in this game is the Yumi Victor. The Yumi Victor just running everything over. Yeah, he's just, I can't really get in there is the thing. I'll go ahead and grab this blue buff. I think they're actually going to come over here, so they might actually walk into me. This bush isn't worded. I have sweeper on. Well, I found these guys. Going to red smite him. Taunt him. W. Nice. Victor's here. I think I might actually die here. Nice. Camille. Uh, I don't think she's going to get anything. She just kind of ran in. Oh, wow. She actually got him. Can run into him. Auto attack EW. Red smite him. Got him. Not bad. Got some damage as long as Yumi is in on him. If Yumi's on him, they're actually unkillable. It's insane how much damage she can do. We're low on health, so we're just going to play around our uh, Q here and Q away. Dragon is coming up here, so I'd like to pick up a plant. The red buff is healing me up very fast. Two of them are dead, but I think we can do this. We gotta focus. Whoever Yumi's on, we gotta kill him fast. Otherwise, she'll just keep them alive forever. It's really, really gross. You can catch waves on ramps and clear them super fast with your Thorn Metal W. Like you see there, it's almost like I had a team at. That's why you don't need shit like team at on ramps. You have massive AoE clears without it. Alright, let's go ahead and reset here. There's no ward in the bush. We can get our abyssal mask. We'll take way less damage, and we'll do fifteen percent more damage to people, which is nice. You see that little circle if they're inside of that. So I basically have to be right on top of them. So whoever I, I'm taunting, meleeing, basically is gonna get wiped. And uh, we'll call Renekton. If they're gonna hit me, they'll be inside that circle as well. It's about the same. Uh, it's literally the same circle size as my Cinder Holt. You know, wipe this guy, get the red buff. Ramus is actually really strong with red buff because he gets a lot of attack speed from his E. So in a fight, you get to proc the red buff a lot and just kill people. All we need is what? Okay, Victor's top. We could probably get a pick mid here. Just sit from behind. Charge up your Q before you actually go in. Like, don't let them see you before you're like midway through your Q because your Q gets faster the more, like, the longer it's been on. So you don't want to show immediately otherwise i'll just walk away from you all right there's a filio so we have him cut off here pretty good yeah he's he gets in a bit really tough spot here i'm gonna just run him down nectin's top i'm ready to fight got a turn though got my ult on him my ew he's dead yumi should have pilled for the victor he's their real carry I'm gonna cut this guy off. Got my W on him. I'm tanking a lot here. Uh, wasn't really worth. Gonna run this guy down though. Just Q right into him. Boom! Varus has to kite towards me. We do have dragon pressure, luckily. Yumi's just so strong. It's insane. Think we can get him. Red smite him. Varus got him. Got our Thornmail W on. The dude's kind of hurting himself. We're going to turn back in here. Hit him with our Q, E, W. Ooh, get wrecked, Yumi. Your bullshit little heals can't save him when he's killing himself on me. Nice, we got him. All right, we got to get away from this guy, though. Holy shit. He's fast, but we're faster. He might keep chasing here. We're going to get this. Looks like he stopped chasing. We're going to heal up on, off our red buff. It's about to disappear on us. But we are healing up a little bit. A lot of pressure. We could take this wave if we really wanted to. I'm kind of waiting for someone to come grab it, though. I think Wukong might be here. I can kill him. I don't think Victor should be here for a red buff. 
Try to take this real quick. I sh they can't really kill me. They need Victor and uh, or their AD carry combined. It takes two or more of them to really get me. And Wukong, no real armor penetration. Renekton's behind, so it's going to be really hard for them to deal with me. Our next item at this point is going to be... I say a wit's end because we're already very tanky. So we could either start building support items or we can ensure our damage. And wit's end gives us a lot of attack speed and a lot of on-hit damage, which synergizes really well with our passive and E attack speed. So I think wit's end, whoever we taunt will actually be able to kill. So I think that's actually the way to go here. But if you trusted your teammates, if you thought your teammates were good, right? <laughs> if you thought they were good, you could start building shit like Locket if you really wanted to. But I'm tanky enough. Right now, I'm just looking for some damage. Wits End's a good option since they have a decent amount of AP at this point with the Victor, who's really fed, and the Yumi. You, my team. Oh. I didn't realize Wukong was there. I thought I was just picking the the Victor, but I suppose that's all worded anyways. Just play around the Dragon Spawns. A lot of us are dying for seemingly no reason. We might actually have some trouble killing the Victor now. He's got a Locket. This will be interesting. Take that Raptor. They're all up here. I'm going to go ahead and shove out mid lane to try to separate them. Just run into it with your Q and then pop the W. Simple enough. I'm going to go get their Raptor spawn into their Golem spawn and then I'll be able to carry this game. I just As long as I don't get caught by three of them, it's really going to take three of them to get me. Otherwise, I'll just run away and I'm pretty tanky. I'm just going to keep taking their camps. Dragon's coming up here. I'll ping that out for my team. I'll just start on the dragon. I would love to get those golems, but dragon's more important. If we can get dragon soul, it'll be huge for us. EW. It looks like they're doing Baron while we're doing this. I would honestly don't care that much. I think dragon's the better choice because dragon soul is kind of more important than Baron. Even if they get Baron, it won't really matter. They don't have pressure to push turrets. If you don't have pressure to push turrets, getting Baron, like buffing your minions doesn't really mean anything. And they're taking it really slow because Victor wasn't here as well. I'm going to go for Victor. I'm going to cut him off before he could get to his team. Looks like our Camille died. Victor is still by himself, but we shouldn't fight here. Camille's dead. She got killed by the Wukong and Renekton. We can let them start Baron and then fight them. That would actually be a decent choice. But we don't want to fight like this. This is a really bad fight. I don't know why Thresh is just watching. It's bizarre to see. Just pull off. I'll hit him with the pinks. I'll get the Wukong here. Red smite him. Ulti. Got the Wukong. Gonna run into this guy. He's really fast. He's faster than a Rams with Q on. Ooh, get the fucked. We're gonna run her down. Hey, little Yumi cat. Your champion may take no skill, but mine doesn't take much either. Do you see how she's healing herself? I'm just gonna run away. It's not worth me dying. That's so obnoxious. Did you see those hills? It's insane. I even had her taunted and thorn meld. So our healing was halved, but wow, that was a lot of healing. We're finally going to get our wits end. I think that's going to make a difference. And since we're already really tanky, guys, we're going to go for a Death's Dance. I know that sounds troll, but hear me out. It's not. Death's Dance gives you armor, magic resist, and look at this. Heals for 15% of damage dealt. So as they're smacking into me and beating me up uh, on my Thornmel and my W, I'll be healing like crazy because they're taking damage. So... Death Dance is actually going to be really big for the extra damage it's going to be giving me in the stats alone, not even the passives included. It also makes you tankier because it makes the damage you take, like, slower bleeds on you. Wukong's way out of line here. I'll go for the Renekton. Got my W on. Got my ulti on now. Gonna get the Wukong. Gonna taunt him. W again. I need a Q out of here though. I'm getting too low for this. Camille split pushing bot lane. So if we can just stay alive and maintain a little bit of pressure, it'd be really big for us. I really need red. I need red to heal, please. I'm just going to tell him like I need the red buff so I can heal up. 
We're necking out of position. I can wipe him here. Got him. I need to pull back a bit though. I'm getting really low. Whoa, Camille. Holy cow, dude. All right, that's good. Just get the turret. Just keep your W on. The turret can't hurt you too bad once you got some items. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pull off here. We're really low. It's not worth Camille no ult. I'm half health. Camille's half health. Victor is full health underneath two turrets. It's not worth. I need this red buff for the healing and damage. Look at that life I'm getting back though. That's huge. That was the wit's end healing. Really nice. Very nice indeed. Once I get the death's dance, I think I could pretty much 1v3, 1v4. They shouldn't try to do that, Wukong. <laughs> Just gonna chase him down with Q. Renekton's gonna block it, what a nice guy. He just sidestepped right into my Q. And that's GG, guys. As you can see, Ramus late game is an absolute menace. If you position properly, well, that was really greedy for me to go in there. But it got us a kill. And looks like I'm still going to live. Just barely. Yeah, if you position properly on Ramus, don't die too much. And you win. A lot of people think as a tank, you should just run in and kamikaze. But there's really more to tanking than that. Hope you guys enjoyed this Ramus jungle commentary guide. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King6. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.